These are people who are changing their industries and in the process impacting the world. And we're going to start this morning with the CEO and founder of a company called 23andMe. Natalie is in Los Angeles. She's got more on this. Hi, Nat. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. Well, you might call Ann Wojcicki a pioneer. She says she is trying to revolutionize healthcare by giving you direct access to your DNA over the counter. 23andMe is what Silicon Valley calls a unicorn valued at over a billion dollars and potentially changing people's lives. See how your 23 pairs of chromosomes help tell the story of one incredible you. To understand the story of Ann Wojcicki, you need to see her in action. But good luck keeping up. What keeps the 43-year-old founder and CEO of 23andMe going strong all started with the germ of an idea more than 10 years ago while she was analyzing the healthcare industry as a Wall Street investor. I found fundamentally that the individual, me, the individual, the consumer didn't have a voice in actually how healthcare was operating. The answer, she says, direct and affordable access to our own health information. No doctor required. For the voice for the consumer, and we're trying to get more and more things direct to consumers so it's easy for people to actually be empowered in their health. We're pioneering a new track. In exchange for a small sample of saliva, 23andMe provides its customers with personal ancestry and health reports. A few years ago, you were able to give that full report, but now you can't do that because the FDA put a stop to that. What happened? The FDA said, you are a medical device. You need to get clearance as a medical device. So we've gone back through the process, and we actually are returning information back like cystic fibrosis and lactose intolerance, and we're working with the FDA to see can we actually get additional reports cleared. The company now represents the largest DNA database of individuals who have consented for research. The hope here is that we can actually take all these customers and all this data that's been generated and actually translate it into sort of life-changing medications that could really have an impact on our customers. Dr. Richard Scheller is leading the therapeutics group at 23andMe. We're working on cardiovascular disease, immunological disorders, asthma, and cancer so far. Anne's passion for business and well-being extends into her Los Altos community, where she's an active real estate investor. She even owns a cafe, a place that celebrates her personal priorities, connection, and family. Anne has two young children of her own. And how do you handle the work-life balance part of your life? You, you know, you, you can't do it all. And, and for me, part of it is that acceptance that there's just choices that you have to make. It's, and I think it's also really good for my kids to see that in the family's core, but what you do and your impact on society is really important. It's a lesson Anne learned at a young age from her own parents, something she and her two sisters, Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube, and Janet Wojcicki, a professor of pediatrics and epidemiology, take seriously. We were always forced to be independent, yeah. and we were, we were really taught to be passionate. We were never raised to think like, oh, you just do something to make money. Their mother, Esther, is a longtime journalism teacher and a proud rule breaker. What are you most proud of with your daughters? Um, their independence and their ability to think no matter what, their grit. They don't ask permission. They ask for forgiveness, and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> Anne's life has taken some unexpected turns in the last couple of years. Her marriage to Google co-founder Sergey Brin ended in divorce, and today she finds herself dating former Yankees player Alex Rodriguez. You know, I met him through a friend. There's a lot of statistics in, in baseball, a lot of statistics in genetics, so in some ways it's, it's, it's perfect. We talk about stats all day. Yeah. <laughs> it's the twists and turns in life, and even the failures, that Anne credits for the success and the happiness she's found. I never expected to start a company. I never expected to be divorced. I never expected to be involved in baseball. For me, being open to opportunities and not being afraid of change is so important, and in that not being afraid of taking a risk. And at this point, 23andMe has collected over a million DNA samples, and over 80% of their customers consent to having their data used for research. The company has even partnered with the state of Nevada to expand their studies. And the company has also published two children's books to help explain human genetics. All important stuff.
guys, back to you. Pretty impressive. Yeah, she's inspiring, Natalie. Thank you. And by the way, tomorrow we're going to have another cutting edge woman. How the founder of the online retail website, excuse me, website Nasty Gal, Always. created a surprising fashion empire. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.